Hello, this video is specifically uh, to support teachers who are Android phone users but operating on a MacBook. Okay, if you're an Android phone user, chances are you use the Chrome browser on your phone if you're browsing the web from your phone. So that any saved passwords, any uh, logins that are saved, things like that, any uh, your browsing history, any favorites, bookmarks that you make on, the, on your phone can be synced to the same profile on your MacBook if you use the Chrome browser. Now let me be clear. On a MacBook, the default browser is Safari, okay? And if I were an iPhone user using Safari on my iPhone, I would probably be more likely to use Safari as my default browser on my MacBook, but I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm kind of uh, operating in two ecosystems, okay? I like using the MacBook. That's my primary device for work. But I'm an Android phone user, which means I have a Google account, a personal Google account. You're going to see that right here, oldfield.derek. So what I do is I use the Chrome browser on my MacBook, and I sign into that browser. That's how you do that up here at the top right. If there's not uh, your image or your initials, uh, your name up there indicating you're signed in, you need to do that. Notice it says sync is on. What that's doing is syncing all my browsing history, websites I visit, the logins, passwords, my favorites, my bookmarks. It's syncing it across my profile no matter what device I'm, I use as long as I'm signed in, okay? Now, for safety purposes, only sign in using your Google account. Only sign in to devices that you trust. So this is the device I use every single day. Nobody else really uses it. I wouldn't do this on a uh, hotel uh, desktop computer they have in the lobby, for example. Uh, that would be fairly foolish. Um, don't do that. But if it's your trusted device, uh, no problem signing in on my phone. No problem signing in on the Chrome browser on my MacBook. There are advantages to signing in and operating that way. And that's why I'm making this video. I want to help you. In addition to signing in to my personal account, the Chrome browser, not unlike many other browsers, Safari does say, allows you to have multiple sign-ins. Okay, so if I click this button, you'll see. I have multiple profiles that I can access on the Google Chrome browser. These are actually my three girls. They're really young and they don't browse the web really, but I have their accounts here in the future when they get older. That's my wife. She sometimes uses this computer as well. This is my school account. This is my personal account, okay? So why would you want to log into your school account on the Chrome browser? If I access this, I click my school account, the new window appears. Now, I only use my school account on this MacBook. I honestly never sign in to my school account on my phone. I just operate from my personal Google account. Okay, uh, That means any Google service I'm signed into on my phone, uh, YouTube, Google Drive, those kind of things, uh, I can also access from this Chrome browser as long as I'm signed in. But for my school purposes, there are times in Schoology when I want to create a an assignment and attach a Google file to that assignment for my students who also have school Google accounts to access. I can't do that very well using my personal Google account. I can go to Schoology, of course. I can go to Schoology. I can access Schoology. I can create an assignment. But I get kind of... Um, Google gets confused when I click on that Google Assignments button in Schoology. Okay, if I'm going to create an assignment and I click on the Google Drive Assignments button to access my Google Drive files, it gets confused because I'm signed into another Google account. Now, you can't attach files from this Google Drive for your students. It won't work. Your students don't have permission to access those files. So if I'm doing that on my MacBook, I have to open up my school profile on Google Chrome. You can add profiles right here at the bottom. And then I go into my course, I generate my assignment, I click Google Drive Assignments, and because I'm signed into my school account, my school Google Drive opens up and allows me to select files 
that my students can then access. Okay, so I love that workflow in Schoology, especially for secondary teachers. But um, this is how you have to operate in Chrome on a MacBook. Understand that you can have two Chrome profiles open, two, three, four, at the same time on a MacBook. This is different than operating on a Chromebook. Chromebook limits you to one account in any session. And that's the account that you sign into uh, for the Chromebook, and that's the only account that you can, you can kind of access efficiently. Okay, But on a MacBook, you can operate in different Google accounts at the same time. And that's what I wanted to provide you with today. I appreciate you listening. Thank you.